Hi everybody, it's Linda. Welcome back to Tips For You. Well, today's video is going to be a prom makeup video with tips as well as a tutorial for you, how you can look your best for prom. This is a big time in your life and it's one of the highlights of your high school years. So you want to have a really fun time. You want your makeup to last, but you want to be comfortable as well. You want to look like yourself but you want to be a more glamorous version of yourself, but you still want to look like yourself. And that's the advice that, that I followed when I went to mine, as well as when I got married. You want to be able to look back on those photos and see what you look like as yourself. So you still want to maintain the real you, so that when you look back years from now, you can see what you look like, and that you weren't too caught up in what was trending for the moment, so in today's makeup tutorial, I'm going to show you a smoky eye. I think that's a really nice, glamorous look. And I'm going to show you some tips on how you can make your makeup last all night long. And be comfortable and photo ready for those selfies and wonderful memories you, of photos that you want to take with your friends. So the makeup tips that I'm going to show you can be applied to other colors as well. So if for some reason you don't want to use the same colors that I chose for this video, you can very easily substitute my technique with different colors to bring out your gown and enhance yourself. Remember, makeup is an accessory to your look, so you want to help bring out the colors that you're wearing, your hairstyle, and your skin with makeup, and you can do that, and it's so much fun. Also, ladies, if you want to do self tanning because uh, you want to have a little color for your gown, perhaps you chose a pale color for your gown, um, I recommend self tanning, but do it two days beforehand because you want to make sure that it's fully absorbed in the skin and doesn't transfer onto your clothing. And also, I'm not a big fan of the smell. As it goes on, it's nice, but then after a period of time, to me, it has some kind of funny, I don't know, smell to it which dissipates after about a good day. So put it on two days before, make sure you've had two showers since then, and you know avoid doing any exfoliation because you will take it off in spots and to wait till after your prom to do that. And then you'll look your best with a little sun-kissed glow on your body because I don't recommend tanning beds uh, as a way to get some color. It's really bad for your skin. I say go the self-tanner route. Okay, so let's get into our makeup tutorial now. So you'll want to start out with freshly washed face, clean skin, apply your moisturizer around your eyes, any acne treatment that you want to use, um, but your skin should be fresh and clean because your makeup will adhere better and it will last longer. Now it's time to apply your foundation. And I'm using Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer by Clinique, and it's fantastic. Um, you can just dot it on your face and use it that way, but I actually suggest putting it on the back of your hand when you go to use it because you never get any oils or bacteria into your product. So you're going to apply first your foundation, and after you apply your foundation, then you will apply any concealer. Um, on pimples or blemishes or areas that you want to cover, under eye circles, anything like that. It's always best to do it in that order because you don't want to wipe away your concealer by applying your foundation. So start with your foundation first. Even out your skin tone, look for areas that might be red on your face or um, areas that you want to cover. It's always better to go lighter with your foundation because you don't want to have too much makeup on your face. It's only going to be more apt to um, slide over the nighttime and need retouch ups. So use whatever foundation you like, but just be sure that the shade is an exact match for your skin. That way you only need to apply it where you need it and you can avoid places that you don't need it and you'll never see the difference on your skin. You won't see a transition at all. So for our next step, we're gonna use a translucent setting powder, and I'm using the Clinique Transparency 5, which is a very deep shade. 
um, because I like to use it also to give myself a sun-kissed glow. So just put a little in the cap, put your brush onto it, and spread it around your face. This will help set your foundation. And because this is a setting powder, um, it is a great product because it helps smooth out your skin tone and really give you a beautiful poreless look. So in the areas where you didn't put foundation on your face, this will still give you a, a lovely matte finished look to your skin. It's just another shortcut way to finishing your skin without having to pile on too much foundation. You can use the translucent powder that way. And I'm gonna link the products I used below. Years ago, I decided to not use the same shade as my skin, but to go with a deeper shade to make it more of a sun-kissed look. And don't forget your neck. You want the color to transition down. Now that we have our foundation set, and our face powder on with bronzer because that is my choice and if you want to have a sun-kissed glow I think it's a great idea for you too now it's time to work on the eyes if you want your eyeshadow to last all night long through the photos and the dancing then these tips are going to be wonderful for you because what we're going to use is an eye pencil we're going to get a great smoky eye with an eye pencil and I'm going to show you how to make it last all night long this is such a great method. You don't need eyeshadow primer. You don't need anything. And I'm gonna be using Sea Green by Giordana. And by NYC, I'm gonna be using their teal, which has glitter in it. And um, I think glitter is a wonderful festive idea to be using for your prom. If you're gonna be experimenting with any loose glitter, be careful about getting it on your foundation. You may um, need to sweep your face afterwards with a brush. And you can either apply it like I'm applying it, which is just kind of streaking it across your lower lid, um, or you can draw one like deep line over your lid and then you'll need to smudge it like I'm doing. You can just smudge it in, spread it around evenly on the eyelid. This will give you a great smoky eye effect and it's very long wearing. I find that they're very light to wear, very easy to apply. Uh, you don't have to deal with a lot of dryness with the powders and you know worrying about primers. Eye pencils make a great primer to your eye in the lower lid area. Now we started with the Giordana, which does not have any glitter on it. But if you want to have some glitter, then you can just go over it a little bit with a glitter pencil, um, which is what I'm using by NYC. Again, I prefer the pencils as opposed to any of the eyeshadow, powder eyeshadows with glitter because of the long lasting ability of these pencils. Many eye pencils are waterproof, they're meant to stay, they go on smooth and easy, and then you'll just blend it in again for that smoky eye effect. Now to build dimension and help the blend, we're going to be using a neutral eye palette and you want to go with something about two shades deeper than your skin tone and this is a Maybelline kit but you can use whatever you have. It has a little shimmer in it which I like um, but you can certainly use a matte finish if you like and then just sweep it onto your eye right above, right into the crease of your eye and using these sponge applicators I find are very helpful because you are going to decrease the fallout that you get with using a brush. There won't be powder falling down your face to mess up your makeup. And I think that they also spread out product a lot faster than using applicator brushes. So I like the sponge tips. I just want to point out that I forgot to use the green under the lower lashes, but you should have lined your under your lower lashes with the green and smudged it as well under there but I will do that later you will see and for our final color we're going to be using a Revlon shadow link in lilac um, here you can choose any color you want depending on what you're using for your lips but if you're staying in the pink family I would suggest you use something like that um, and put it into the upper brow bone area blending it up and then forming a triangle, a deeper triangle in the outer corner of the eye. 
And you can use a matte there if you like, or you can use a pearl with shimmer tones to it, which I think is great and festive, so I recommend that. Revlon has some great colors. Maybelline has some great palettes. Um, I'll link some stuff below for you. Um, if you're doing a bold lip color, then you might want to stay neutral with the lid in that application for the triangle and go with a deeper brown, perhaps. To finish things off, just take a clean eyeshadow brush uh, and blend the top so that you can transition all the colors properly and get, give a nice smoky effect. Just make sure it's clean, no other product on it. And now for a nice finishing touch, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Colorish eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to take this white um, highlight color and I'm going to apply it right um, above my brow bone, right below my eyebrow, um, just in that little area where your eyebrow kind of comes down uh, past the center. And it's going to give a nice highlight under my eyebrows really open up the eyes and um, make them look bright and pretty. And now we're going to use some black eyeliner. And this is an eyeliner pencil and it's by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to warm it up a little with the cigarette lighter because then it goes on so easily. It's a little trick for eyeliner pencils. And just place it right above your upper lashes and bring it out um, to do a nice wing tip out on the outer corner following where your uh, eyeshadow was kind of applied so that you can give a nice uh, festive look to your eye and then you're going to be smudging that in a little bit to give it that nice smoky effect and you sh you can also apply this black eyeliner underneath your lower lashes or on your waterline uh, if you'd like your eyes to have even more drama I'm not going to do my waterline, but you can if you would like to. Now I forgot to put the green underneath the eye in the beginning, the uh, green eye pencil, so I'm just putting it on now, but um, you'll be putting that on when you do your makeup, right after you do your upper lids, you just uh, line your lower lids. And now you'll just want to apply some mascara and you want to curl your eyelashes first. I'm using Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Always been my favorite. I've tried so many. I always come back to the Maybelline Great Lash and I use Very Black. And I always apply my uh, mascara doing my lower lashes first on both eyes and then I'll come back and curl my upper lashes and then apply the mascara to my upper lashes. Now if you're thinking about possibly applying false eyelashes to go to prom, um, it does look very fancy and it can really glam up your eyes, but do keep in mind that it is possible that they can pop off in the corners during the night. They don't always last like you'd like them to. So um, if you're looking to be practical, and you don't want to risk having issues to deal with your eyelashes during the night, then mascara would be best for you because you might have to fuss with your eyelashes at some point um, depending on the evening. And you can really get a great effect with mascara. I'll show you in a second how you can get as much volume and length as you possibly can from your mascara. 